Probably pretty confused, and that's fine, it's to be expected. But look, I have to explain all this constantly, and I don't really care to do it again. I'd say I do it hundreds of times a day, but time doesn't really exist here, so look, all you need to do is walk outside into the hallway and into your first trial. Your body will be reenacting events exactly as they had occurred before. Simply put, your free will won't exactly be that free anymore. I'll be watching you so I can tally up your score, but fair warning, I typically deal with the, um, let's just say the people I judge typically score on the lower end, so <laughs> have fun with that on your mind. So you understand what you're supposed to do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you can't respond. I've set all this up so you can't talk. I know, I know, it seems a bit harsh, but if you had to listen to people panicking for eternity, you'd get pretty sick of it too. Oh, where am I? What's going on? I want to see my family. It gets annoying. You know, it's almost like no one even reads the sign I put up. All right, enough talk. Head out into the hall and start your first trial. Let's get this over with. How are you holding up, Evelyn? You're not looking too hot. No, I I'm fine. Uh, just... Shit. Looking at this makes me feel sick. I'll get used to it. Yeah, it's hard the first few times. You're not a real investigator until you don't puke on the body. <laughs> uh, Matt! Ugh. Mm. Let's talk about anything else. Did you check the report? No, not yet. I'll check it out. Try not to lose your lunch while I'm at it. <laughs> Very funny. I need to check out that report to see what I'm working with. I think I left it on the hood of the cruiser. Uh... Says here that someone driving nearby heard a gunshot at the location. When they came to check it out, they saw the body. Only one shot was heard. No assailant has been identified. Not much more to go off of. What does it say? Just that some people heard a gunshot and saw the body. I'm not working with much. You hang tight. I'm gonna have a look around. <sighs> Evelyn has a long ways to go, but I think she's gonna do well on the force. One of the most promising rookies I've met. Just takes time. A few more ride-alongs will do her good. This casing belongs to a 9mm bullet. I don't see a weapon around here, though. This knife has blood on it. Fresh blood. Had to have been used in whatever altercation happened here. Hmm. 
male, probably in his early 30s. Given the bullet hole in his head, I'd have to say he died from a gunshot wound. Looks like the bullet went straight through. I should probably take a look at that blood as well. Looks like someone had a bad day. The blood only seems to be coming from his head, so there likely wasn't much of a struggle. Oh, and would you look at that? Someone left a trail of blood. This truck sure has seen better days. I'd be surprised if you could even get it running. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ, it smells like shit in here. Whoever lived here wasn't too keen on keeping the place tidy. Whoever lives here is probably running their own little independent pharmacy. I can see why. This stuff isn't exactly over the counter. Looks like a list of clients. Whatever happened outside could be a deal gone wrong. This guy was definitely prepping for something. Cans of food, water jugs. I don't really think it's relevant to the case, though. I need to be careful. If the person living here isn't our friend laying in the dirt, he could be out there and armed. Axe is sharp. Good for chopping wood, but I don't think it was used in the murder. Yeah, I'm not going in there if I don't have to. Thank you. 
like this handgun was discarded, and rather hastily at that. It's safe to assume this was used at the scene. Well, we may just have found a motive. Four hundred dollars cash. Why toss it away? Pills. Not the cheap stuff, either. Strong. Some people would pay good money for this. Bastard. He's got a stab wound in his abdomen. It's deep, too. He most likely died from blood loss. Probably not too long after crawling in here. All right, I think that should about do it. I should reconvene with Evelyn before we head back to the precinct. Blood trail heads into that cave. I need to be careful. Hey, Ev. Hey, Matthew. Did you find everything you need? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, what do you think happened? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I'm gonna need to review a lot of it, but here's my theory. Our friend here on the ground came here to get his hands on some pills. Maybe during the deal, he had the bright idea that maybe he could leave with his pills and his money. So he took a gamble and stabbed his dealer. In turn, the dealer acted in self-defense and shot the guy, killing him. Scared, the dealer grabbed everything and ran, or at least got away as fast as he could with a stab wound. 
He tried to discard the evidence as he went, but he didn't really have time to hide it. He got to the cave before realizing he couldn't get any further, so that's where he stopped to bleed out and die. Jesus. Again, that's just my theory. There'll be a whole lot more review, and it's just a whole process. Yeah. Hey, Matt, can I ask you a question? What's up, Ev? Why? Why do you think this happens? What do you mean? A, a drug deal gone wrong? No. No, just... These... people. Why did they resort to this? Just seems like some people... don't see right and wrong. Maybe I'm just being naive, but... I can't put myself in that headspace. Killing another person by choice? Hmm. I don't know if anything brings them to it. I, I think they may just be that way. Hardwired to do wrong. I don't know. I don't have much remorse for them. They've done bad. In my eyes, if you do something wrong, you deserve what's coming to you. You can't start sympathizing for them. That's when you start getting bad at your job. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's get back in the cruiser. Head back to the precinct. I need to sort through all of this. Yeah. Right behind you. No, a police officer is definitely not what I expected from you. A man of the law. <laughs> Being a member of the police force doesn't exactly say much about your character, but it is a job aimed at keeping peace. Oh boy, I cannot wait to see how you screwed all of this up. Well, hey, don't stop on my accord. Head on out into your second trial. Okay, let's get a little light in here. That's better. Alright, I need to get some work done. I know I need to check my email. Need to take Joey out. Definitely more. need to get my bills paid, I'm too. For a walk in ages. Good thing Joseph's asleep. That'll make things easier. I barely read any of these. Maybe like three? That'll be something to do if I get bored. couldn't. I think it was something to do with sharks. I don't know. I... I really miss you, Anna. Me and Anna used to play all the time. God, I haven't touched this thing in ages. She was always better at it anyways. Mm, I'm not really hungry right now. Plus, I have things to do.
How the hell am I supposed to keep this up? Especially with all these budget cuts. I may need to start prioritizing what to pay for. I don't really need anything in the basement right now. Just an old closet. I don't need anything in there at the moment. I remember that very day. If only I could go back, just for a little while. Damn it. Another pay cut. I might need to take a second job. awake. There's got to be something I can do to settle him down. This was definitely Anna's record. She loved this band. I personally think they're garbage. Never understood it. remember when I first joined the force. That was a long time ago. Well, this is a long shot, but... as well as your mom. Still be here all 
start But we're never far apart Cause in your heart When I'm gone I'll still be here all the same seem to do it. I love you, buddy. I wish Anna could see you. Jesus, I can't believe it's been a year. I'll do whatever I can to keep you safe. Shit, not now. My pills. Where... Why do they have to be so expensive? <sighs> okay, okay. I need to take it easy. <sighs> oh, maybe I'll just head downstairs and see what's on TV. You know what? Things aren't actually looking too bad for you so far. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to say you might not end up scoring too low. Almost. I handle all the bad people, remember? So, what have we learned? A police officer? A single father? What happened to, uh, what's her name? Anna? I wonder. Well, it's not really in my jurisdiction to know about that. We're here to focus on you, my friend, and... As much as I hate to say it, there hasn't really been anything I could justify docking your points for yet. Plus, you do really seem to care about that kid. I think I need to learn a little bit more about you, who you really are, where your mind's at. Step into the next room. I, I want to test something. See, I don't think I know enough about you. Yet. I want to learn who you are. Get inside of your head. So here's your job. There are two philosophers who have interesting theories about morality and ethics. They're the two guys you're looking at now. Immanuel Kant and Jeremy Bentham. They each came up with their own idea of what a good action is. Kant proposed the idea of deontological ethics. By his model, all actions are inherently good or bad, regardless of their consequences. Now let's use the trolley dilemma as an example. A trolley is going to run over five people who are tied to the tracks. If you change the direction of the trolley, it would only hit one person. Kant would argue that you don't change the trolley's direction. Sure, five people will die, but you didn't have any direct input on it. If you change the trolley's direction, that one death was caused by you. You committed an immoral action regardless of the outcome. Jeremy Bentham, on the other hand, would disagree. Bentham proposed the idea of utilitarianism. By his ideology, the right or moral decision is the one that results in the most good. The outcome is more important than the action itself. He would say that you steered the trolley to hit the one man. Sure, you were directly involved in his death, but more people survive than would have otherwise. All you need to do is tell me who you agree with. Kant's deontological method or Bentham's method of utilitarianism. Where do your morals lie? Personally, I'm just curious who tied everyone to the tracks. There are much more efficient ways to kill people if that was your goal. Anyways, push the button in front of the portrait of who you agree with most. After that, head out into the hallway. Your next trial will be waiting for you.
All right, time to get some work done. I should check and see if I have any reports to take care of today. Captain Stark typically likes to keep to herself. Best not bother her. Look like I'm assigned to anything at the moment. I should go down to evidence and check on that forest case. Hey, what are you doing here? Who let you in? Oh, uh, hi, Matt. I was just checking back on what we found on the forest case. You know you're not supposed to be here, right? Plus, how'd you get in without a key? Oh, I'm sorry. I just told security I was working with you and they let me in. There wasn't a ton of fuss about it. Yeah, security has fallen behind a bit. It's these damn paycheck cuts. It's okay. You can hang out in here if you want. I was actually here for the same reason. Oh, well, I laid out the photos back in the corner. I assume that's your desk? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I'll check it out. And, hey, don't mess with anything else in here, okay? Wouldn't dream of it. Yeah, I still think my theory stands. Gunman was the one dead in the cave. He died from a stab wound inflicted by our initial victim. All just a drug deal gone bad. Ugh, I still feel awful for them. Don't. They got themselves in that position. I... I guess. Good. You can't let that stuff get to you. 
I'm gonna head upstairs. You should probably get out of here before somebody says something. Okay, yeah. I'll be out in just a bit. Huh? Oh shit, not now. I wasn't supposed to call me yet. I need to take this somewhere private. Not to call me at work. I gave you my schedule. Oh, and you think you have the authority to tell me when to call? I don't give a shit where you are. If I call you, you pick up the goddamn phone. What do you need? See, that's more like it. What I need is what we discussed. You still need the money, right? Yeah, I just. I don't like it. Well, tough shit. Think about it like this. After a few jobs, we cut our ties, and you leave with just enough cash to make all your problems just go away. Listen here, I know all about the government job pay cuts, and I know without this money, you'll- Where is it? William and Son's bar. My boys will have been in and out. Be on the case. And hey, remember, you're doing this for the kid. <sighs> William and Son's. Okay. I need to get back to work. This never happened. Now this is what I was expecting. You're a bit sketchier than you let on. This'll be entertaining. Taking suspicious jobs, working for the seedy underbelly of your society. You're just a basic crooked cop. <laughs> you know, I hate to say it, but I was almost rooting for you. I thought you may be the one good person I had. Oh well. Also, Kant was an interesting choice. Not too many people subscribe to that philosophy, but... Anyways, you've got more trials, and I've got more life to judge. Let's get a move on. So, what's the damage? Armed robbery. According to the statement from the bartender, three men in masks came in and ransacked the place. Took everything they could. Cash register was completely emptied, so was the safe. Do you have anything to go off of? Well, the barman said he shot one of the men in the leg, but no one was killed. They all got away. That's not much. Hey, did you bring that UV light with you? Oh, yeah, I got it right here. Good thinking. Hey, I, I was thinking... maybe I could help you... No, no, you'd better just stay back. I can get all this sorted out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll just, uh, be right here. All right. Let's get this over with. Handgun. PM-40 model. This must have been the bartenders. I don't think I need to bother with it. Hmm. This could be useful. Looks like your guys dropped something, Charlie. You really need to get some better goons. God, could these guys have at least made an attempt to be clean?
Yeah, I can use that. Damn it. Why did the bar owner lock up? I need to get this door unlocked. He knew we were coming. He had to have left a key around here somewhere. as a whistle. Ugh, Charlie, next time have your guys wear gloves or something. All right, I think that's everything. I should talk to Evelyn. I think we're done here. Did you find anything worthwhile? Uh, no, actually. What? How is that even possible? Uh, I don't know. I just... I couldn't find anything. That... that can't be right. Let me take a look. No, it's fine. I looked everywhere I could and there was nothing. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's get back to the cruiser. I'll take you home before I head back to the precinct. Yeah. Okay. Okay, no one's here. Good. And that, my friend, is why you're in here with me. Cleaning up evidence from a crime scene, I expected more from you. I mean, not really, but still. All for what? Some money? That's a little thing I like to call greed, and it does not look good on you. You know, I think there's a little more I'd like to learn about you. Head into the next room. I want to test something.
Let me start with an example. Say you're in a room with a button, and you know that something will happen when you press that button. You don't know exactly what, but something will happen. It could be something terrific, something that could save lives. It could also be catastrophic, killing orphans and puppies the whole nine yards. But you have absolutely no way of knowing. What you do know is that you have agency over whether or not you press that button. Pressing it is entirely your choice. With that said, if you did press the button, should you be held accountable for the consequences of these actions even if you didn't know what they would be? Should someone be held accountable for something in which they have agency, but no knowledge on the possible outcome? Answer by pressing the button of which you agree most strongly with. Once you're finished, exit back out into the hallway. Your next trial is waiting. Hey, little buddy. I know, I know. Let me get you something to eat. Oh, darn it. Where'd I put the baby food? No, I already got it out of there. I set it down somewhere. There you are. Let's get this to Joseph. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Eat up. There you go. Are you getting tired? Come on. Let's put you down for a nap. I'm never going to let anything happen to you, buddy. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna make sure I'm okay, so I can take care of you. Don't get that money. Don't you worry. Sleep tight, buddy. Okay, I need to get some work done. I'll check on the mail, maybe my email too. Water has been acting up a bit too. Maybe I could check that out in the basement. Wait, they're gonna start laying off officers? I... I can't lose this job.
More bills. I, I can't pay for all of these. I'm gonna need to prioritize. This'll help with the water tank. There. That should fix things. <sighs> Hello? Jesus! At least pretend to be happy to hear from me. What do you need me to do? Man, you really aren't any fun, are you? Charlie, just tell me what the hell you need me to do. Hey, 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 relax, man. Keep cool. I got another job for you. And then I get my money? And then you'll get your money. <sighs> What's the job? You know the laundromat on 8th? Yeah, what about it? No, don't tell That's me. That's my laundromat, and I have a bit of evidence there. You're fronting using a laundromat? How cliche can Hey! I didn't ask for you to tell me how to run my goddamn business! I... I'm sorry. What do you need? We're moving our operations elsewhere. Go to the laundromat tomorrow night and clean up the, uh, <clears throat> back room. Okay, I'll, uh... I'll take care of it. I'll give you more info later. One last job, then I get the money. Finish this, and you'll have enough to take care of everything you need. Good. I'll be there. cared about that boy, huh? I mean, not to discredit this whole process, I'm sure you're still a terrible person, just... You seem like a good dad, is all. I don't know, it's odd. I typically only see the bad when I'm judging people. I don't understand why I'm seeing all this. But again, you're still a terrible person. Things really are more black and white than you'd think. Anyway, what's the deal with you and this Charlie guy? He seems a bit sketchy. Is he why you're here? Did you cross him? Just one wrong move and then... Pew! <laughs> no, no, that'd be too easy. No, oh, whatever. Head on outside. Your next trial is waiting for you. Now, what did Charlie say? Yeah, four quarters in the out-of-order machine. Turn the coin slot crank three times. What's this duffel bag doing here? Hmm. Empty. Okay, just... Oh, shit, I forgot the damn quarters. How did I even... Oh, it's fine. I just need to figure this out. Huh, a quarter. Well, one down, three more to go. Should just about do it. Now, let's put these to use. 
So just four of these and there it goes. this out. Charlie seemed to emphasize wanting his laptop's hard drive erased. Maybe I should start there. Let's see what... Oh, damn it. Charlie didn't give me the password. I'll get the rest of this sorted out and then I'll call Charlie about it. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. It needs something to carry it in. Upright until I can get some more. Hmm. This should help me carry everything down there. <laughs> Looks like a few of these guys weren't having a great game. Best I clean all of this up. Good thing Charlie gave me the code to do this. Can't imagine he gives that out too freely. This must have been Charlie's private stash. No surprise. Biggest chunk of money and the biggest guns. I guess this explains where a lot of this money is coming from. How many people is he dealing to? Charlie's got a small fortune down here. Jesus, what were you planning to do with these, Charlie? I guess they were using these cameras as a lookout. It's best to have that footage wiped. Yeah, this'll need to go. towel this time. Live and learn. Okay, I need to get that laptop password. something up? No, just... I need the password for your laptop. Oh, yeah, right. My bad. It's, uh... It's Beverly217. Beverly? Yeah, what about it? You got a problem with... No problem. I'll get back to it. But after this, I want my money. And you'll get it. Do this for me, and you're out. <sighs> okay. Matthew? Evelyn? What are you doing here? I know what you've been doing. What are you talking about? Listen, I may be new to the Force, but I'm not stupid. You've been taking evidence from the scenes. I saw you driving here, and I followed no, you. No, Evelyn, please. You don't understand. Is it just for the money? 
Matt, I understand the pay cuts are bad, but... But this? I looked up to you. I'm sorry, Ev... Don't try to apologize. You know I have to report this. I know, but please... I need this. Listen, Matthew... I have too much respect for you. We haven't known each other long, but I understand that you've been serving for decades. And you've been highly regarded. I'm gonna have to ask you to turn yourself in. What? What authority do you have to- Leave with your dignity intact and turn yourself in. You- You need to own up Please, to- Please, Ev. I need this job. I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh. Okay. Hello? Hey, it's Charlie. I know who it is. Where can I get my money? That's what I was calling you about. Uh, Matt, I can't pay you. What? Charlie, what do you mean you can't pay me? I said you needed to finish the job. My laptop is still sitting there with all of my information on it. That doesn't sound like a done job to me! Charlie, you son of a bitch! Plus, money is tight. I need... What do you mean, money's tight? If I recall, I just cleaned hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your basement. I have a life. I need this. I'm going to lose everything over this. And whose fault is that? You're the asshole that decided to work for me. I appreciate the help. So as a courtesy payment, let's just cut ties clean. You've got too much dirt on yourself to report me, and I won't send anyone to kill you. We'll call it even. Please. This conversation is over! You know, I'm having a lot of trouble understanding you. What you're doing is awful, but you seem to have remorse? I mean, your intentions are good, but... God, I, I just... What you're doing is inherently bad. You are committing crimes, you are helping criminals, but no, no. You know what? I deal with the bad people. And if I deal with the bad people, then you're a bad person. What was it you said before? I don't have much remorse. If you've done something bad, then you deserve the punishment. <laughs> well, good. Glad that's all sorted out. Before you go into your next trial, I wanted to question you just one last time, if you'll indulge me. <laughs> I say that like you have a choice. Okay. Into the next room you go. Chop, chop. I don't think it's any secret that people act on instinct. At least, partially. What's a bit more divisive is what those instincts are exactly. Some would argue that, by nature, the human race cares about survival and protecting what's close to them. They want to ensure that their lives are protected and lived to the fullest. In short, they believe that people are inherently selfish. On the other hand, some people believe that people will naturally disregard their own wants and desires for the betterment of a larger community. People would rather benefit the world as a whole rather than benefit themselves. In short, not selfish. So what do you think? Are people inherently selfish by nature, or no? Once you answer, head back through the door to your next trial. So this is Charlie's place. Why is it so small? I know I cleaned at least 100 k from the laundromat. Where's all of that money going? Hmm. Whatever. I need to get what I came here for. I have to stay quiet, though.
about Charlie. This has to be where he keeps the money. I need to find a way to break into it. It's locked up tight. I need something to open it with. I could use this to wedge into the safe. I just need something to jam it in with. Should be able to open the safe with these. Okay, quiet now. And there. God, this is more than enough. I can get my All medicine right. and let's get I'm out. I'm not of leaving here. you just yet, Joey. Wait. Hold on. Oh, shit. I'm so stupid. He's going to trace this back to me. He knows where I live and... Shit. He knows about Joseph. What am I doing? I shouldn't have done this. I can't go back. The safe is already broken and my prints are all over it. Okay, okay. Calm down. You can handle this. I can't let him follow me. I know what I have to do. I can do this. I have to do this. Joseph. You know what? I just don't get it. I don't understand you because you're everything I've ever gone against, and everything points to you being an awful person, but I don't know. I mean, for God's sakes, you just killed that guy. You killed him, but you were protecting your son. Or were you just protecting yourself? Yeah, that's a question. How much of what you're doing is wanting to be sure you stay alive for your son, and how much is you just not wanting to die? Is he just some justification for you, or do you actually care? I mean, given that you're here talking to me, obviously things didn't work out too well, did they? You've been tampering with crime scenes, you completely betrayed the trust of someone who looked up to you. I don't understand you. The thing is, I have no idea what your motives are. Well, I know what you think your motives are, but that doesn't mean anything. Maybe I've been doing this wrong all along. Not just with you, but... I never cared about motive, I never cared about the other people in everyone's life. Bad people were bad people. Now you've come along to mess everything up! Let me ask you something. Do you think this is real? No, really. Do you think I'm real? Why don't you just make me say what you want already? I just... I don't get you at all. I don't know. You have one more trial. I suggest you get a move on. Get everything ready. Food, water, 
keys. My backpack should be upstairs. Cruiser. No one would suspect an officer. Plus, I can blend in if they find me. Okay. That's everything. I need to get Joey. Hey, little guy. We have to go now, okay? We'll find somewhere else, though. We'll live happily for as long as we can. Somewhere quiet. Okay. It's time to go. Okay. We can drive through the night. I'll find a motel somewhere tomorrow. We can't stay long. We gotta stay on the move. Hey, buddy. Did you have a good nap? <laughs> Everything's okay, little guy. We're going to find a new home. No. Oh no, shit. Okay, okay, it's okay. Hold on, buddy. <laughs> no. Not now. I'm out of pills. Damn it. I need pills. Joseph! I need to get Joseph! Come on, buddy. Let's get out of here. What did you do? Please, I just, just want Matthew, to... put the gun down. Please. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stay take me. down, Matthew. I just... Let me take... My Put son... Put the gun down and surrender! Sorry, Matthew. Really. This isn't how it should have ended for you. It's respectable that you took action, though, and I mean that. The funny thing, though, I... I still don't know what to do with you. Maybe this is all more subjective than I thought. Did your actions matter? Did your motives? What were your motives? Honestly, why is anything bad in the first place? Who even decided that? I don't know doesn't make much sense. Maybe you're bad, maybe you're not. I just, I don't know. You know what? I said I only had one more question, but this one's important. Step outside. I've got one more trial for you. Oh, and before I forget the question I asked before, I think I'm as real as you want me to be. I just can't decide what to do with you. Your actions are just uh, polarized. So I decided I'd let you make the decision. Now I want you to think very carefully about how you answer this. Really consider what this means. All I have to ask is, do you think you're a good person? Take your time to answer the question, then head back through the door. Okay. I understand. Head back to the door. It's waiting for you. You've made me think a lot, you know that? Really, I'm... I'm honestly glad to have met you. And, I know, it's scary. You have no way of knowing what's through that door, and honestly, neither do I. I know just as much as you do, and as much as we've gone through, I still don't know what you deserve. Maybe things are too subjective to ever really tell. All I know is that you're gonna go through a change in a few seconds. And no matter what it is, it'll be okay. Good or bad, you'll be okay. Good luck with whatever comes next. Goodbye, Matthew.